So Android 14's developer preview 2 is out and we have installed it on our device. I'm using GSI but I'm not going to talk about what I'm using or else but uh, the things which are new here which are the new things added some top new features which are included in this version I'll talk about those. I'm using GSI as I just mentioned and I'm using GSI from DSU which is dynamic system updates DSU site loader. I made a video on this particular topic already and if you need the video make sure to comment below I will provide you the link in there and in the comment section and you'll be able to install this thing on advice most probably here's the first biggest change which i found after installing android 14 developer preview 2 is the new back gesture if you're able to notice back gesture is same here but of course the new kind of ui now we have the background with that back arrow looks very very interesting and this is the new and one of the biggest changes available in this latest android version of course it's developer preview 2 so just don't think this is stable but it's good enough another change is available here is in the navigation mode you can see gestures now navigation mode is no more present in the gestures options by the by default it was there by moving into gestures and then you see the gesture navigation etc but now navigation mode is available in the system settings this is pretty interesting and one more thing which i found is it's available in this option but th this is available in some other options too i will talk about that you can see navigation mode is gesture navigation available in the system settings not in the gestures options but if you move on to the display options you will see navigation mode here too so this this is a different kind of thing and they change something at least in settings in the terms of ui not so much visual changes but some of the changes are super useful super nice this navigation mode is now easy to access i mean if you move on to system gestures now it's not like that one step is closer and you'll be able to use gesture navigation Another biggest change which is available is in the clock settings, finally customizations are coming to Android 14. It was just not a gimmick, it's finally coming uh, clock settings, but unfortunately, it's not working so far as you can see if i click here it's just not working it's there it's finally there which means maybe with the developer preview 3 or maybe with the beta updates you will see some customizations here regarding clock or same like ios lock screen but for now no customizations but the option is there another change another new thing is the new permission manager which was of course introduced with the latest edition of android 14 but with the developer preview 1 as far as i know it was not there but now it's it's finally here allow access to all photos select photos or don't allow the same option of course you know it's available in ios already but android is finally bringing this so this is also a new thing you can select some individual some multiple photos if you need them or maybe full access to all the photos it's totally up to you in the terms of privacy this is a very useful feature it's also it's already introduced with android 14 developer preview 2 one more thing is if you try to change a wallpaper if you move on to this wallpaper you can see the new ui here and you, you can see the i button at the top if i if you click here you will see some information regarding that image for example if you're applying wallpaper from this wallpapers and style app you will see some information regarding that but even if you use the wallpaper from your gallery then it will show you some metadata of that image if present but this is a new addition which is present with android 14 developer preview 2 as you can see this is how the ui is looking like i think so some new visual changes are introducing let's see with android 14 developer preview 3 what they will bring you another change is in the regional preferences you can see app language was already present here which is a very great addition but also if you move on to this option now we have regional preferences available apps will use your regional preferences wherever possible you can see first day of week which you can adjust according to you by default of course it's there but you can use according to your preference you can even customize the numbers and this is also a new addition i think so this is useful but i will see i will look out i will look through it that how this is going on in daily life but hopefully this is also a very useful thing this is about the regional preferences which is added in android 14's developer preview 2 and uh, here is another biggest change is in the security options if you're able to notice security options are a bit new if you move on to this you can see the new ui in app security which means play protect we also have the same kind of options in other sub menus too this was the play protect as you can see apps on device are regularly scanned for harmful apps or etc 
we have device lock new ui you can see this new icon the lock icon you can customize the screen lock of course but this is a very new kind of thing which was never introduced in android so far as far as i know after using android from android two times android 2 android 3 android 4 versions i'm talking about device findings find my device you can see new ui here too if i move on to updates you can see updates now security update and google play system update by the way you can see google play system update is first of april 2023 which isn't even here so far but yes security patch is 5th of march 2023 i think so with android 13's edition google definitely forgot about the march security patch they're just bringing you android 14's developer preview too but let's see what's gonna happen right now you can see health connect was also introduced with the previous update android 14's developer preview one other options seems to be the same here this is also one of the new additions which is present with android 14's developer preview two here comes the last but not the least flash notifications if you move on to the accessibility settings move on to flash notifications we have different kind of options available i don't think so it was present previously so you can see whenever a call rings or whenever a new notification by the way you will see the flash will be in like this but if you don't like that you also have the option to use a screen flash notification so for example if i use this okay this is a whole how the ui is looking like from my personal opinion i don't like it at all i don't use it but yes the option is present so if you're one of the users who want to use this feature it's finally here for you, you can simply turn on and this is it these are the options these are the major changes which are present with android 14's developer preview 2 one of the major the differences i've already shown you and by the way there is no easter egg present so far i'm using gsi and it's super smooth by the way it's not for daily driver at all even though i'm using gsi even though if you if you are using a pixel device you will not say that this is good for daily driver of course it's developer beta you might be able to use the beta updates right now it's developer preview you might want to use the beta updates those are coming maybe around two updates or maybe next month i'm not sure the i'm actually forgetting the timeline but maybe with the april april security patch you will see the beta update so let's see what's gonna happen so these were things i just wanted to let you know about android 14's developer preview 2 if you want to install this thing google pixels developer previews are already out you can check out the official website if you need gsi i will provide you the link in the description and if you don't know how to install gsi i will recommend you to stay away from that of course it's not for daily driver or you can use gsu side loader make sure to comment below if you need the video i will provide you very very soon this is all thanks for watching and i will see you in the next one goodbye